This video looks at what happens to the cue ball when it hits the rack of balls during a break shot. In particular, we want to see what conditions are required to help the cue ball squat or come to rest at the center of the table after the break. First, let's see what happens when the cue ball has very little spin or height when it hits the lead ball. Notice how the cue ball bounces back away from the rack and heads up table. It doesn't squat in the center like we'd like. In super slow motion, we can see what's going on. The rack of balls has a larger effective mass than the cue ball, so the cue ball does bounce back away from the rack. Now let's look at what happens when the cue ball strikes the lead ball of the rack slightly above the equator, so the cue ball is slightly airborne, which is actually quite common in a break shot. In this example, the cue ball also has a slight amount of draw, or backspin. Again, notice how the cue ball bounces away from the rack and continues to head up table. Hitting the lead ball above its equator with the cue ball airborne causes the cue ball to hop in the air. The cue ball is airborne because it hops on its way to the lead ball. When we break, the cue is not perfectly level and the slight downward angle with the large forces involved drives the cue ball into the slate which makes it hop on the way to the pack. Here the slight bottom spin is retained after impact and on rebound it looks like a forward spin so there's nothing to prevent the cue ball from heading up table. Now let's look at what happens when the cue ball hits the rack slightly airborne again, but with a slight amount of follow or topspin. Notice how the cue ball still bounces away from the rack and hops. Also notice how the cue ball slows a little bit after bouncing away. You can see that the slight topspin before impact is retained and becomes bottom spin after rebound, which tends to slow the ball down slightly. Now let's look at what happens when we have more topspin and more power. Notice how the cue ball hops higher and then follows forward after rebounding back from the rack. With more speed, slightly more height, and follow action on the cue ball, it will tend to jump higher after hitting the rack. Now let's look at an example with good squatting action where the cue ball tends to come to rest near the center of the table where we have the most options after the break. Here if the one ball hadn't kissed the cue ball after the break, the cue ball would have squatted directly in the center of the table. As you can see the cue ball comes in with slight follow or topspin which is retained after rebound off the rack. Again, the cue ball hops in the air because it is hitting the lead ball above its equator. The cue ball also heads up table, but the retained spin helps slow it to a stop near the center of the table. 